Hello, and welcome to tier number one on my ear purifier industry source rankings list, which contains the most trustworthy source for ear filtration testing. Okay, in the last video, I explained why YouTube channels and blogs with at least some dedication to testing and analyzing air purification equipment are at tier number two and our listing of sources. And below them would be the peer reviewed studies in tier number three, and they are above the hit or miss general influencers in tier number four. And the general influencers, even with all their flaws, are still more trustworthy in general than the not to be trusted business owners in tier number five. Now we are at the highest tier. And in tier number one, we have professional expert third party testing labs. All the other sources from tier two to tier five, I would consider to be amateur testers. But tier one companies are professional testers. Here are some of the characteristics of the professional expert third-party testing labs. They use more expensive, more precise testing equipment and specialized software. They have years and even decades of air filtration testing experience. They get paid thousands of dollars by companies, even Fortune 500 companies, to do testing on their products. And sometimes they even test solutions that will be used by the Department of Defense and or even NASA. They can accurately test filtration concentrations for ultrafine particles, and ultrafine particles are smaller particles that are 0.1 to 0.003 microns in size, and they comprise 90% of all the particles in the air we breathe, and they are also the most dangerous to us as well. So that's obviously a very important variable to consider. And some professional third-party testing labs can also accurately test for VOCs and chemicals as well, which is very difficult and expensive. And these professional third-party testing labs are conducting air filtration tests on equipment on a daily basis, week in and week out for years on end, as this is exclusively what they do in their profession. And therefore, they would be considered experts in the air filtration testing industry. Okay, so those are some of the characteristics of professional testers in the air filtration industry. That said, there are two different categories within this tier. Category number one consists of honest, trustworthy third-party testing labs who cannot be bribed into providing undeserved testing results. In short, they are honest and they have integrity. Their mothers raise them well. And then we have category number two, which consists of less reputable third-party testing labs who can be bribed to create undeserved testing results to make an air purifier or filter appear to perform better than it actually does. Now, we won't go into this too much, but just so you know, not all filters or air purifiers that are certified deserve their certifications or the test results that they attribute to their solutions. Some don't deserve the certification or test results because the filter company basically paid for superior testing results that they didn't earn. So if you see a specific certification on a filter or air purifier, it may or may not actually be legit. Unfortunately, this is the world we live in and there's a reason why the Bible says, for the love of money is the root of all evil. Some labs will give air filter manufacturers the testing results they want for the right amount of money. I mean, just think about it. When millions of dollars are on the line, some companies will come up with creative ways to try to gain an edge for sure. And let's be real, that's true in many different industries not just the air filtration industry. And I could tell over the past few years that some air purifier companies had some amazing official performance test results from third-party labs, but by analyzing the units and their seals, I was sometimes thinking to myself, yeah, I don't think this unit is gonna filter at the levels the third-party testing lab claims. So I've actually kind of known this for a while now, but eventually I had a third-party testing lab confirm my suspicions. And they said that they knew some other third-party labs were rigging tests for some customers. So unfortunately, it is a thing in the industry and I don't like it any more than you do, but I'm just letting you know what's going on. So don't be coming to me in my comment section saying things like, but, 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 it's EN 1822 certified, but but you have it ranked number 22 on your best air purifier list, and these other units ranked better on your list aren't even EN 1822 certified. So so you don't know what you're talking about, or y you're just a shill for those companies. Yeah, you know who you are. Please find yourself a hobby. You know, like crocodile wrestling comes to mind. Believe me when I tell you, 
I spend a lot of time and analysis determining where the different air purifiers should be ranked on my lists. And I look at and consider many different variables, not just which ones are EN1822 certified or which ones have a certain certification. It's not that simple. So looking at this source list again, from most trustworthy to least, we have in tier one, professional expert testing third-party labs. And we have two categories in this tier. Category one are honest ones. And category two, our testing labs that are willing to provide undeserved better test results for money. As mentioned, tier one is the only tier which performs professional filtration tests, in my opinion. All the other tiers below them possess companies, brands, and individuals that I would currently consider to be amateur testers. In tier two, we have YouTube channels and blogs who specifically deal with and focus on air purifiers at least some of the time, like House Fresh, Modern Castle, Ratings.com, Vacuum Wars, etc. In tier three, we have the peer-reviewed studies, which are not nearly as impressive as I would have initially thought, in tier four, we have the general influencers, which is a mixed bag of information. And in tier five, the ones we cannot trust at all to conduct unbiased tests and provide unbiased opinions are of course the business owners who oftentimes will make some outrageous claims on their own products. And why not? It seems like a lot of consumers actually fall for it. So this is how I would currently rank the general sources on the internet who test, review, and or make recommendations on air purifiers. I may make some modifications on these rankings in the future, but this is how I currently view them. Click on the link in the description below to see my ranking of best air purifiers for dust, allergies, and asthma in the APE Air Quality Solutions Guide. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And please click on this video here as I discuss the CADR issue in more detail. The clean air delivery rate is definitely not the only variable to consider when selecting an air filtration solution, as we'll see some air purifiers with lower CADR values will actually filter better than other air purifiers with higher CADR values. Thank you so much for your time and have a great day.